Texas Instruments Platform Development Kit, or PDK, which is part of the Processor SDK RTOS release, contains a couple of controller area network or CAN examples that exercises the CAN peripheral on the Citara AM335X. The purpose of this short video is to demonstrate the hardware setup procedure, software compilation and execution of the example using an AM335X general purpose EVM in a board-to-board -board scenario. CAN frames entered into the console of board number one will be transmitted to board number two and immediately loop back to board number one. This short video will illustrate the steps needed to work with the CAN examples. More information about the CAN driver for the Citara AM335X can be found in the links at the end of this video. The cable used to connect the two boards together is wired as seen here with two female DB9 connectors on either end. After connecting the two boards with the DCAN cable, ensure that CPLD profile number one is chosen on both EVMs. The dip switch settings for SW8 are position one to on, position two through four to off. Connect to the UART port of the EVMs using DB9 cables and a USB to serial converter to connect to your PC. Power on both boards. The example used in this video is located in the AM335X processor SDK RTOS package at the path shown. Please note that in future releases, this path may change. The SDK can be downloaded from the links at the end of this video. Import the DCAN example into the CCS workspace and build the .out file. The same .out can be used to run on both EVMs for this test. Each EVM is connected to an instance of CCS with a target configuration launched. Ensure that the gel file for the Cortex-A8 core is executed to enable the clocks and peripherals on the EVM. Load the A8 core of each EVM with the .out file. Launch two terminal emulation windows with the relevant COM port selected for the EVM. In this demonstration, PuTTY is used for terminal emulation. Run the program on each EVM. One EVM is a transmitter and the other is a receiver. The receiver will loop back the DCAN frames to the transmitter. Select user input number one for EVM one and select user input number two on the second EVM. The second EVM is now waiting for the DCAN traffic. On EVM number one, select option two to transmit several data frames. Enter the desired number of frames and hit enter. In this case, we are sending five frames. The console for EVM number two shows data received with the frames from EVM number one. This completes a simple demonstration of the DCAN peripheral on the AM335X general purpose EVM. We hope this video sheds some light onto how to run this demonstration. Thank you for watching.